Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and today I want to show you how to make a delicious lamb um, and rice dish. It's a Persian dish and um, yeah, the meat is super soft and tasty and it's slowly cooked uh, for a long time. And yeah, my mom recently got COVID so I'm doing a lot of cooking and I thought why not record it and upload it. So yeah, here we go. So first um, you have to get some lamb and it's very simple, you just need um, uh, some chopped onions and garlic and for the seasoning you need um, salt and pepper, saffron and cinnamon. So very simple and the only thing is you have to sort of like wake up in the morning if you want to make it for lunch or um, yeah, plan ahead and make sure you're home and let it um, cook on low heat for like three to four hours um, and if you really want the meat to be super soft I would say yeah cook it for minimum three hours up to four and um, add salt at the end so yeah in the beginning I mix pepper and saffron and a stick of cinnamon with garlic and uh, onions and I just leave it so it's super easy in that respect but you just have to I guess be home and yeah and then I also had some rice that was um, soaked overnight it doesn't have to be soaked overnight but having it soaked overnight in water will help um, the rice be look more pretty when you cook it and it will be longer and um, nicer so yeah um, you just um, wash the rice a couple times and um, afterwards you mix some vegetables with it with this particular dish you need um, actually fava beans but we didn't have those so I'm using um, frozen peas instead so yeah, here I'm just putting it in the rice cooker and frozen peas and dried dills. So I put about like four cups of rice and four cups of um, frozen peas and about one cup of the dried dill. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, you just eyeball it and if it looks nice and pretty to you, that's good enough and yeah. So for the water, for the rice, I'm using the broth from the um, meat after it's been cooked for like three hours. And yeah, for four cups of rice, I added about six cups of the broth. Um, yeah, you can add water, but having the broth obviously will make it taste a lot better. So after that, I add a little bit of salt some saffron that was um, in ice because that will intensify the color and then some butter and you just let it cook so super easy um, yeah and I have a little bit of snack some Persian cotton candy in between then it was ready at four hours it was super super soft and the meat would just like fall off the bone it was so soft and don't forget to add salt to your meat in the end this way it won't become chewy and it will stay very very soft i said soft a lot <laughs> but yeah and here's um the finished the rice it's super pretty and yeah the color of the saffron you can see is very nice and it also tastes and smells really good a lot of people who don't know much about saffron are not familiar with the smell and taste and i see in food courts they always add turmeric and label it as saffron rice and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you made it at home let me know in the comments what you thought about it thank you so much and have a good day